Once upon a time, a boy named Jack lived in a village with his mother. They were poor and lived off the money they made from milking their cow. However, their cow grew old and could no longer yield even a drop of milk. All they had left was a cow, and so they had no choice but to sell it. On the way to a market to sell his cow, Jack met a strange old man. Hey, little boy. Would you like to exchange your cow with this magic bean? If you plant this bean, it will soar into the sky overnight. Jack exchanged his cow with the magic bean and went home excited. <laughs> Jack proudly showed his mother the bean. What did you do? You traded our cow for this useless bean? I can't believe it! Oh. Jack's mother was very angry, and she threw the bean out on the yard. Jack went to sleep feeling bad. The next morning, Jack was surprised to see what had grown in the garden. What could that be? There was an enormous beanstalk in the middle of the yard that soared high into the sky. Jack started to wonder where the beanstalk would lead him. I will climb this beanstalk to the top. Jack climbed the beanstalk. And he discovered that it led to an amazing place in the sky. Jack saw a magnificent castle and wondered... Who could live in a castle like that? Jack knocked, and a stout lady came to the door. He told her he was hungry, and the woman kindly gave him some food to eat. As Jack munched on the food, he heard the sound of extremely loud footsteps. My master is a giant who likes to eat people. If he finds you, you won't be safe here. The startled woman quickly hid Jack in a furnace. A short while later, the fearsome giant appeared. I smell a human. The giant sniffed and looked all around him. Human? That can't be. It is possibly the smell of the man you ate yesterday. The woman quickly turned the attention of the giant away from humans and Jack was safe. Hmm, is that so? The woman successfully fooled the giant.
After the giant finished his meal, he fell asleep counting the gold coins he had stolen. Jack crept out of the furnace, took a sack of gold coins, and escaped from the castle. He quickly climbed down the beanstalk and returned home. Safely back at home, Jack explained everything that happened to his mother. Jack's mother was worried and said, Son, these gold coins will be very useful, but don't ever go back to that castle. But they spent the money more lavishly and were quickly left with nothing. Jack climbed up the beanstalk and found his way to the giant's castle once again. The woman served all kinds of delicious food again. Jack hid in the furnace when he heard the giant's footsteps. This time, the giant laid a hen on the dining table and yelled, Lay a gold egg! Then, the hen surprisingly laid a shiny golden egg. Jack's eyes were popping with amazement when he peeped out of the furnace. When the giant fell asleep, Jack stole the hen and returned home. Jack ordered the hen loudly in front of his mother. Lay a golden egg! Then the hen laid a golden egg right in front of their eyes. Jack's mother scolded him for his wrongdoing. However, Jack didn't listen and he continued ordering the hen to lay golden eggs. Then one day, the hen died. Jack went up the beanstalk to visit the castle again. This time, the humpy giant brought a harp with him. Play me beautiful music, the giant said. Then the harp strummed sweet and beautiful music. Jack wanted this harp very much. When the giant fell asleep, Jack took the harp and headed out. Just then, the harp shouted. Master, it's a thief! The scream of the harp woke the giant. The giant raged as he ran after Jack. Stop! You stole my gold coins and hen too, didn't you? You will surely die when I catch you! The giant aggressively chased Jack. Jack quickly slid down the beanstalk. The giant was right behind him. You little thief! 
If I catch you, I will eat you up! Jack was very fearful and continued to run as fast as he could. As he got closer to the house, Jack asked his mother for an axe and started to hack the beanstalk. The beanstalk began to sway. The beanstalk collapsed with an enormous sound and the giant fell to the ground and died. The concerned mother said, Jack, do not do anything like this ever again. If we work hard, God will bless us with fortune. From then on, Jack became a very diligent boy. The harp always played beautiful music for them.